Chapter 5 Washing Up As soon as the first cluster is removed from the last row of cows, you will begin washing the clusters. The clusters should be hung up correctly, with no twisted rubbers, and may be washed with a hand or brush until the clusters and rubbers are clean. You continue this routine until all the clusters have been removed and washed. Once all cows have been teeth sprayed, the last cows then leave the dairy and the last clusters are washed. You will then place the jetters on the clusters, changing the switches to the wash position. The machine is then prepared for washing. You remove the milk pipe from the tank and rinse the machine. The machine should be washed with approved detergents in the correct amounts as directed on the packaging. Rinsing should be carried out with the manufacturer recommended amounts of water and circulation times. Ensure that all detergents, dips and sprays are stored in their original containers in a safe manner with labelling clearly visible to avoid mistakes. You then remove the filter and let the wash water circulate through the machine. While the machine continues to wash, you wash down the parlour making the most efficient use of the water and your own time. The dairy itself also needs to be power washed along with the parlour. When the machine, the dairy and the parlour have been washed, you must make one final check of water taps, bulk tank, milking machine, plate cooler and all other switches. You then leave any relevant message for the farmer. The machine is then prepared for the following milking and animals are returned to their paddock. A final check is made to ensure everything is working well, such as the cooler and that all the lights and taps are off.